Hi there, Christina Lopez, Fox 26 News reporter here with something pretty special and pretty unique that I wanna share with you today. Now, before I get into exactly what it is I'm going to show you, I wanna give you a bit of backstory before we get into this. Now, uh, nearly two weeks ago on July 13th, former President Donald Trump was nearly assassinated during a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Now, we've all seen those photos from that wall-to-wall -wall coverage of blood across his face, his fist in the air, and of course, blood on his ear from that bullet nearly missing him. And now one local bakery has actually created something that is incredibly unique and incredibly special. I am speaking with them right now and I'll bring them on to this conversation. Hello, Avaro, thank you so much for joining us. Hi, uh, how's it going? Uh, wonderful. Uh, can you please share with us a little bit more about what it is that your bakery and earlier has created really yeah so um we created what's called the oreca de trump which is um pretty much just an oreja uh this was we just did as a kind of as a joke um with all the memes going around um we just thought it'd be funny to make uh our orejas into the Kind of like the the Trump with the blood, and um, yeah, um, it just it just got a a lot of traction. I just put it on my Instagram. I thought it was gonna get like maybe 10, 15 likes, and ended up turning into like over a hundred. I've seen way more comments on my post than I've ever seen, and yeah, it's. It's getting a lot more attention than what I thought. Now, Avril, tell me why you think this is really resonating with people right now. Uh, what was that? Tell me why you think this is really resonating with people right now. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I mean, I feel like Trump's a real popular figure right now. I'm both for people that support him and people that don't. Um, there's a lot of, he's like a popular meme. <laughs> so, I don't know, especially like with the uh, Hispanics, like, he's a, a big topic, so. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, he's a big newsman, most definitely. And as we're in the middle of this contentious election cycle, you said something to me earlier that was really uh, profound. You said that this is not a political play. You're not trying to be political with this. Can you elaborate on that just a little bit? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, just, it's not like a political statement or anything. It's just something lighthearted. Um, just for laughs, because um, being that we work here at a business, I know we got a lot of our customers are, they're both sides you know, of, of politics. So we wouldn't want to make um, any any of them feel uncomfortable coming here to, to buy bread or anything, because at the end of the day, that's what we do. Like we make fun uh, for the people, for our community and um, we want to keep it that way. We want to make everyone still feel like they can come here and and just buy bread, you know. I love that. I think that is so incredibly profound at a time when there's so much uh, separation and you know, people are divided on so many issues. Uh, is this something that maybe can bring people together in a very unique way? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I mean. What better way to come together than with some pan and some coffee, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love pan dulce, right? Yeah. Some That's pan dulce. Now, you did mention to me earlier off camera what the technical term is. Of course, we've already purchased one of our own, Trumbier, right here. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't, haven't sampled it yet, but uh, tell me what this is originally called before this was the Trumbier. It's just an oreja. And it's pretty popular, correct? Yeah, it's pretty popular. Excellent. It's one of the, the most popular um, panes. Now you've tasted your creation. I mean, I like it. I'm, I'm just gonna say I like it either way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, people like our people like our bread. Um, uh, our bread is real popular here in in our community, and the 
even the surrounding communities, they come a lot. We get people that drive up to an hour, an hour and a half just to come buy bread here. That is incredible. And how long has your parents been around? Um, we've been here since 99. Wow. So almost 25 years now. And so really, you just saw what happened and you thought, you know what? I can make my own take on this. I can make my own take on this. <laughs> yeah, the Pan Dulce edition. I love it. I think it's genius. And, uh, you know, our we thought this was really special and then our assignment editor just covered this online have you seen this anywhere else before uh no um i was actually kind of surprised that um like you guys reached out because I didn't. I just thought it was just on my post, I, and I didn't get not, nothing like any messages or anything from you guys. So I was kind of wondering like where this might have gotten out to. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is <laughs> this is probably the most unique marketing tool I think I've ever seen, and and very creative. Yeah. <laughs> Now, yeah, um, how, much, uh, how much does the Trump year go for? Um, a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five for a dollar twenty-five, you can really take a bite out of history right here. Yeah. Pretty incredible. Uh, well, congratulations to you. Um, have you seen your foot traffic kind of increase because of this? Um, not really. Um, I mean, we we have a lot of we get a lot of customers daily, so. It's not, it hasn't been anything too noticeable, but um, our phone, our phone has been ringing a lot with people asking for the Oreja de Trump to see if we have any, any in right now or if they sold out. I love it. I think it's genius. And uh, kudos to you for having this idea and bringing it to life. Um, it's definitely making people smile in our newsroom. I can tell you, when this came through the door, people were already taking photos of it and with it. <laughs> so you're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> Abra, how can Thank people uh, reach out to you and your family? Where can they go to uh, put their money where their mouth is? Um, Carmelita's Bakery in Parlier, California. Um, We've been, we don't only sell orejas at Trump, we have everything, conchas, puercos, so, um, cuernitos, and it's all good. It's, everything's good here, so if you guys ever want some pan dulce, Carmenita's Bakery right here in Parlier. I love it. And one last message, anything you want to leave our viewers with, whoever will watch this and see this and maybe think, gosh, you know, I, I don't know if I want to support something like this, but me the wrong way. Um, just keep everything positive. Um, there's no need to like be going with negativity back and forth, you know. Um, just get yourself a, some pan dulce and some cafecito and sit down and talk, have conversations instead of fighting and arguing. I love it. All right, Avaro, thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for sharing with Trump Beer. We'll <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.